Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic, continuing the Blender to Unreal character creation series. Today's tutorial will be sculpting this lower piece over here, which I decided is going to be like a, a shirt piece. So it's going to be cloth. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go into edit mode and control L to select this entire piece over here. Hit P and separate by selection. That way you see it will become a separate piece of this model, which is highlighted over there. So I'm just going to name this, um, not armor armor, I'm just going to call it armor shard. There we go. And then I'm just going to hide it. Now for this piece, first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to hit, uh, hold alt and then right click. And it will select this entire loop at the top here and i'm just going to scale that up or just move it up a little bit the reason for that is is once you start sculpting a little bit and you might want to smooth out some of these edges it is going to um, cut these edges short and they might start sticking out at the bottom here so i'm just going to do that scale on the X a little bit there we go and then the just the modifiers over here I'm just going to apply the mirror modifier because we're not going to need it because a shirt is going to be fairly unbalanced on both sides and I'm just going to increase the detail a little bit with the subdivision surfaces I think as high as level five, which as you can see up there is about 270 faces. And then I'm gonna hit apply. See in edit mode, it's quite a lot. So let's go into sculpt mode. I'm going to enable dynamic topology and keep those at subdivide edges and relative detail. And I'm just going to disable the uh, X mirror. Then I'm going to select the crease brush over here, which you can select by um, using your keyboard shortcuts. It should be number four. And then you can just, if you hold control, you can start adding a little bit of detail. Now, bear in mind, um, use some reference and just have a look at where uh, a shirt would crease the most. It doesn't really matter considering what type of character we're creating, but uh, just for reference, if you are going to create a character later on. Okay. So let's just keep on going. Let's do a few for this piece. I would actually recommend if you have a tablet using a tablet, uh, um, like the Wacom tablet, um, I switched over to my one now because, um, drawing these lines just gets a little bit, uh, tedious using a mouse and do it like that. So once you've added some, some creases, um, you're not going to hold control anymore and you're just going to like start drawing kind of underneath them a little bit the top to give them a bit more depth so there we go Just going to lower the brush a bit.
as you can see, it's starting to um, work in some detail there now. So this is a fairly tedious process where you have to repeat the same steps over and over and over again. So I'm not going to follow my whole process with you. I just want to show you guys the basics. And that's all you really do is you just keep on using the crease brush and then add some detail and then remove some details just to um, start getting those creases right. Um, it all really depends on just where you want the folds to be. And bear in mind as well that because we created the armor shard as a separate piece that most of these details might actually be covered. So if I just uh, switch back over to object mode and hit control L, oh sorry, uh, alt H, apologies. Um, you'll see that the armor shard is actually covering that piece over there and it might cover another piece or I might create another shard over there. So it, just keep all of that in mind when you're busy creating this, so that you don't have to add too much detail on the separate pieces over there um, because it will, might not be required as um, we when we do the baking or when we create the texture, it might be completely covered at that point. So um, uh, once again, you can just carry on sculpting. Um, I'm going to call this actually as a in for the current video um, because as I said, tedious process and most of the details um, is, is all just uh, what you guys want to add. If you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I haven't been uploading videos as much as what I should. I've been having problems with my internet connection, but I got a, a recent upgrade. So I'm hoping that that will mean that um, I can start adding uh, more videos. So uh, thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.